Oh my goodness, is this not Sky B? Why is his face like this? What happened to him? Something bad is happening to this guy. I mean, I saw a video of him looking like this. And then another video of him looking like this. Sky B, can you tell us what exactly is happening to you? Yeah, the first video happened in August during the protest. I sang for the protesters. I also joined the protest. And uh, each place they go, each junction they go, they put up DJ sound equipment and I perform. To Were you paid? No, I was not paid. You're just outside. doing it voluntarily, okay? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I go with my own water, granite, to support things, people. To support people. Yeah. So I performed the second to the last day of the protest. After the whole performance, I never knew that some people didn't like the idea of me performing. They didn't like it. So after the finished performance, we were like going home, and they just park car in front of me and say, "Say, you are the one." Like how many people? There are three cars. How many people? You said people were beating you. They were beating me. Even till today, if I go to the toilet, I still bleed. I still have internal bleeding. Blood. Jesus I still, Christ. I, I always go to the toilet. I also call people. I say, see, I'm still bleeding. I'm still bleeding. They beat my hand. They collect my phone. Say, should be this phone that Lucky bought for you. I'm using to, to go and plug Wiki the internet and say, Wiki should go and this, they collect the phone. But Wiki is an ex-governor of River State. Mm. So why are his um, loyal loyalists concerned about you going out for the protest? I think they don't they don't support the idea for the protest. They are against it. They say any protest. I'm not the only protest that they they have warned. Even after that beating me, people put me on internet and say, "This is what they did to Sky B." They even sent me text message, which is some of the text message is still here. They sent me text message. Some of them have deleted it. That, Wherever they see me, but I got, I have the mind and go to television and go to radio and say, Wicked Boys took my phone and that they are going to kill me. So it was the second day when the, the, the thing went online. Some of my friends in Abuja now, now sent me flight ticket and brought me back to Abuja here. Since then, I've been on medical treatments. Like my ear, still now, I can still feel too much good with it. Even if they are playing music far away, my ear will be dragging it very close. As if something is wrong. Wow, this is bleeding. really sad. So what about the second video we saw? It seems like you were in the police station and you had bandages all over your head. Can you tell us exactly what really happened in that second video? Yeah, that second video was also done this August. Same August? Yeah, I came to Abuja to track the guy that hacked my account. The guy that hacked my Facebook account. Somebody hacked your Facebook account? Yeah, he hacked my Facebook account, Instagram, Twitter. The only thing I have access to is only YouTube audio mark everything i don't have access to it so by the time i trust and track the person somebody by the name um francis eiko so i tried to get him trapped try to bring him and try to hold him down before police would come that resulted to fight then before you no know, go to police station i asked him how did you get this account and everything he said that uh, my somebody sold it to them my former manager sold it to them to him Wait, 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 I'm trying to understand something. How many of you remember the v first time I interviewed Sky B? You remember I, b I got him a phone because he didn't have a smartphone. And then he didn't have social media. So I had to ask someone to create social media accounts for him. Because after the interview, I had to fly down to the next de destination. Because as at that time, I used to travel around different states of Nigeria telling stories of people. So immediately after filming him, I asked someone to create a Facebook account for him, Instagram account for him, TikTok account for him, so that once I post the video, I'll tag all this account and he can get some followers. And he was able to get about 100,000 followers on that Facebook account, about 10,000 followers on Instagram and yeah. almost 10,000 too on yeah. TikTok, right? Yeah, well, I had uh, 108,000 people on Facebook. 808,000 on Facebook. On Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, I had like 80. 70,000. I feel was Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Sorry, I, I, I get myself involved with a lot of people, so most times I don't know how to, you know, keep in touch with everybody. Yeah. I can't believe that. You got a lot of followers just after one that month. interview. Just one month. Just wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> now, how did your management end up giving you account? Did they sell it or they gave it to somebody else? Yeah. And why would they do something like that? Yeah, I believe, uh, I believe the account was hacked because the management I worked with, I... I have so much respect and trust for them. But according to the guy, the Green P, Francis Iko, the guy that had the, the guy that's in charge of my account now, which if you go to the to the message box, you see people sending message that this is Skybe account. He told me that my management sold the account to him. I 
begin to pest him who sold their car to even cause problem to the SM. We went to police station, fight ourselves and And they ended up breaking your head. Yeah, he didn't return back to the police station again. He left. Since then, I've been calling him to come. Okay, if I, sometimes I give him like 24 hours to put my my this thing back. Sometimes I ask him how much can I give him to put back my name and this thing. He said it doesn't concern him that they are giving him the account, they are giving him both my Instagram. An account that I created for you. Yeah. Now somebody owns it, and the person is in this Abuja. In this Abuja. Where in Abuja is he? He works at a uh, rooftop. I met him at a uh, rooftop <laughs> uh, rooftop uh, nightclub. Rooftop nightclub. That's where I met him. Eh? Yeah, that's where he works. Rooftop and nightclub. Now nah, this is this is a very big problem, mm. and I have to get myself involved in it. Yeah. And I can't get created from you. Yeah. But you now somebody is in charge of it. And the worst part is that if he, if if you ask him if I call him on phone with this number, he's going to block it. Skyby, I blame you seriously for all these yeah. things that is happening. Yeah. You know, you know, I'm I'm not so happy with you. You know yeah. what you did, right? I know, I know. And um, I'm sure the internet is aware what happened between I and Sky B. Yeah. I firmly believe that if things did not go the way it went, if you had listened to me, all this would never have been happening right now. True. It's unfortunate that all the efforts we put, it wasn't just me. I mean, there are people who believe in what I do. Yeah. And when I put out your story, there are a lot of people who actually came in to support you. At the end of the day now, somebody insignificant is the one using that account if i should catch that person oh my goodness it won't be funny i swear to god who made me it won't be funny a account of 100 and something thousand followers can i speak to that guy on phone is it possible to call him right yeah, now I've, I've called him what, can i have his number let's see uh, if we can pull him live for for the number is not in this phone now but the worst part is that please who has this number i've called two people that to, to Bro, do you have his number? Mm. Mm. Please, if you can get someone, let's find out. You know, if, if you if you go to that account, uh, Francis Iko, he has some program. Wait, wait, wait. Them. So if we search your name now, your name is Palisade Ogunka. Ogunka. Yes, See, too much names. But the, the, the name he's changed now. So he has changed your Francis your name to Francis Iko to Francis Iko. Iko. Yes. So the guy has changed your Facebook account. He changed the name to Francis Eco. Yeah, Let me search check it. Francis Eco. How do I spell the Eco? I think I K O. So I've not been so happy with you apparently. Just that when I saw your messages and then I saw those videos, I felt that oh my goodness, this should not be happening to you. Even if I'm not ha happy mm. with you, yeah. this still should not be happening to you. Yeah. Because it does make sense. A video of you beaten by wicked boys, and then another video of you in police station looking like this. It did not make sense to me. So um I feel like it's important we have this conversation. Yeah, I thought you have that Francis Tico before. Or he, maybe he blocked me. It's possible the person blocked me. Yes, he blocked because because I, I told him because I, I can't find the person. Yes, I, I told I told him I told him that you have been worried. Don't worry, we'll guess, track that, him. That's him now. As Francis long as he's Siko. in Abuja. In peace. Oh, can you imagine? He's an artist. Yes. <laughs> I'm happy when others are happy. God bless everybody. Greenpeace. Mm. Can you imagine? <laughs> so I would like to speak with this guy. Let's see if his contact is here. Mm. Once you call him. And Do you talk know where he lives? So that we'll drive there to go visit him. Let it not be that. The information you are giving to me is your own. Mm. Let me. I want to. I want the, to experience the, the place. The place he works is where I know. Uh, rooftop. How does this guy think he's going to blow by it? Nobody's even mm. paying. At, look at his videos. Go, go and check Several his. Several uh, likes. Who cares? Nobody. Check check the inbox where they're sending message. They're asking him. This is Skyb account. This is Skyb account. If we catch you, if we catch you. Greenpeace featured yeah. Harry B. Yeah. Song title. He doesn't even know how to spell. Mm. Can you imagine? Mm. And he wants to succeed. Mm. He, that is not how people succeed in life now. Mm. Yeah. Guy, the guy is some something else. Guy, let this guy come. Let us see how we can talk. Maybe, he, maybe they showed it to him. Mm. I would not have any issues. But if I found out that he hacked this account, that would be the worst. me and him will have issues. Yeah. But if they showed it, we can just come to get talk, it back. You know how to get it back to yeah. him. Then whoever showed it to him will arrest that person. Yeah, that, that's the, the best. The person thing. does not have any right to sell your property. They can't. Do you understand? It's yes. your property. The person does not have absolutely any right to sell it for any reason yeah. 
you know, maybe this guy is just an artist that is trying to get some Try attention. To attention. We can actually still help him. Just give him some attention. Even Seth, we're calling his name now like this, Seth. <laughs> calling his name, Seth. This guy don't go. Yes, Seth. Okay. Um, it's all good. Yes, we, are, we, we are peacemakers. But, mm. we, but sometimes, you know, you have to... Well, let's forget mm. about that. Sky B, like I said, I've not been so happy with you because yeah. of how things turned out. You know, when I posted your video, a lot of people were so happy to connect with you again. Yeah. Among all the artists that I interviewed, like you were somebody that a lot of people loved. Do you understand me? Yeah. And um, I, I really don't know why things went that way. No. So how is your life at the moment? What's going on with you? Yeah, uh, I think uh, uh, life has changed. Since that interview tonight, it's changed. I have become more important every day. Every day is victory. Every day is miracle. Every, day, every, every day is victory. Every day is a celebration. Imagine being beaten up and the next day the thing came online and the next day somebody booked flight for me to leave Potakot and come back to Abuja. Chai, oh, no, nothing levels. happened to <laughs> Levels. Levels. You still have people who love you. Yes, yes. That's great. That's great. Oh, that's, that's yes. Even though Moros himself, he tried. But the only problem I have now is I'm still begging Wiki because his boys beat me up. He should give me back that phone. That phone is more important for me. Because now this phone I'm using, I can't access internet. Hmm. <laughs> that, that's How it. can we be sure that um, someone like Wiki, you know, hmm. his boys, I don't know, maybe those guys did it on their own accord. It's possible they did not hmm. because somebody asked them to do it. So hmm. I don't know if it's... It's not so good that we associate with kids. Yeah, we told them. What has happened? That, uh, you understand? It's possible there are just some people who don't like you. No, the, the, the truth is that those people that did that to me, I, all of them, I saw them in PDP campaign. PDP campaign? Yes, I know their house. I know their house. My, this is my community. This is the next community. This is my house. This is the next community. If you go to the house, I see their community. I know uh, all of it, them. It's possible you just have people who did not like you. It's so unfortunate. <laughs> Yeah. You know, things like this happen. So because of that, you left Portacot. Left You're Portacot. Now in Abuja. No, Abuja. The only problem I have now is my, I have to move my family. Because after then, that information went online. They, they threatened me. So she be, I still have the mind to go to radio and TV and internet. Then after they collect my phone, I see good internet. I say, we cable will beat me up. That I should, I'll see what happened to me. So I came to so Abuja. Your life. Yeah, yeah. Even I have plenty messages which they, they were sending to me, but I've deleted them. I don't want reading them sometimes. Okay, so where is, where is your family now? They are still in Port Harcourt. I'm still in Port Harcourt. How many to see. kids? Like I had uh, two kids when I was doing my baby. Then I had three with my wife. My wife gave me three. So you have five kids in yeah, total? Yeah. So where are all those kids now? They are with uh, one person or different people? My, my son is in Delta State where he's schooling in Bodin. My daughter is in Port Harcourt. Then two of my kids are with their mother in Port Harcourt too. Okay. So your plan is that if you find um, something good here in Abuja. Yeah. You want to bring them over. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah. So, how is, how is music? Like, what are you up to right now? Do you still attend shows? You know, a lot of people came out to say that you were not um, attending shows. Yes. There's this guy. I saw him. He was on wheelchair. He said, mm -hmm. um, you know, um, he paid for a show. Yeah. And um, it, it, it appears that you are not going to attend that very show. Yeah. Did you later attend the show? No, the, that, the guy was a MC Amorous. Yeah, we were supposed to go to Mina, Niger State, mm -hmm. to Leja for the program. But the flight was scheduled from Abuja, from Lagos to Mina, and that was in Port Harcourt that day. Oh, okay. so they thought you'd be in Lagos at yes. the time they booked yes. the flight. Yes, so. But fortunately, you were in Port Harcourt. Something came out, was in okay. Port Harcourt. So the pr so process. Of that, you missed the show. Yes, process of my manager. But did you try to make it up? To them. Yeah, I've reached to them, but because my account has been hacked, it was later when I came to Abuja, mm. even and I met the person, mm. MC Omoros. You apologized. Apologized to him. Even we came to this interview together. I've been with him all this while. Yes, please can <laughs> come. He's, he's there. Oh, this yeah. young man. <laughs> he's the one that sent that flight oh, ticket. Oh, you were the one on wheelchair. Yes. How is your health now? Come, let's, let's be worse. <laughs> you want to even send that flight ticket for me to oh, rush down with that? Hey, <laughs> you know, after Sky be not attending you, you, show, you, say no. you still showed consent to yes. Oh, young man, how are yes, you? Sir. Oh my yes, goodness, sir. look at this guy. Come behind, let's be worse. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's good. I'm happy that, you know, in this life, you see, a lot of us, we, we come from a family background where we are facing difficulty. 
you understand me where we come from we are facing financial challenges already some of us still did not even attend good schools some of us are not even looking so attractive so our chances of achieving success in life is already difficult then the worst thing anybody wants to do is to start making enemies for themselves even when you are aware that you come from a family background that is not so good you are not so educated as a lot of people you are not so connected like other people. You are not even so attractive like other people. Yeah. They say invest in property laws. Now who ugly pass? Now everybody, everybody now you everybody say now you take off. So when you know where you are coming from in life, always try to avoid making enemies for yourself. Yeah. Kaibi, I'm I'm glad that um, you know you are not, you have turned your enemies into friends. Yes, and yes. young man, thank you so much. What you what you've done is it shows this is what Christ like nature should look. Like, yes. you understand me. Thank you for bringing him out of the crisis he faced in Kotako. Thank you mm. so much. And please try to make up for the shows you missed. It's yes. very important. Yeah. Mm? So in this life, let us not make enemies because none of us make it out of this world alive. Yeah. And while we are doing what we are doing, let us avoid problems. Thank yes. you very much. So, um, what else do I Take want to say? Music. So there were a lot of people who came out to say a lot of things that they paid for shows, you're not nah. attending. And um, I hope you've been able to make it up with all these people because this is very important. Yeah, but I tried to meet up, but I didn't. But I'll make up with them. The ones I've refunded, I've refunded the ones I've refunded. I think the only person that I've not uh, finished checking the date now is uh, Victor from Akwaibom. Then that one happened. That day, that, that day they beat me up in the protests. Two days later was his program. Okay. I was flown to Abuja here. I showed him the picture. Every time I told him I can appear like this for the show. Do yeah. I have got my eye everything swell up? He said no problem. We are going to find a date by December field where they have a beach festival. Okay. They'll bring me through. Yeah. Life is not that. Yeah. Life is not so so difficult. It's true. And um, you know, avoid things like this. Yeah. And then. About the issue of, you know, I, I came out to make a video about you where I talked about your addiction with substance. Yeah. I don't know if this is something you want to talk about. Yeah, that, that was something of the past. It was not something of the new again. It's not something of the new again. Yeah, it's something How of sure the past. You? Yeah, I'm sure because then then I had no I have nothing had nothing then before you came for interview. Mm. So I had some friends. We we enjoying smoking, uh, marijuana, taking a uh, whiskey and other things. Mm. But when I came back for the interview and this opportunity came, I was no more in that process. But I will not because of that I'm I'm now in that I'm now in back in limelight then. All those my friends. Like if they see those my friends come together with me inside hotel room or drive out something, they suspect this is what is happening. And the way I, I, I use money. I'm somebody that all my family when you just interview me, all my family begin calling me for money. So I, I send money, I can have a, a lot, 200, 300,000. I will begin to give people. Before now, I will left like 20,000. Understand? And they will not understand where this money go to. They will think it's the same life I was living that I'm living. Are you very sure, Sky? Yeah, I'm very sure, Baba. Your family reached out to me. And yeah. uh, this day, this is your auntie. She was so consigned. In Lagos. In Lagos. She was begging, <laughs> lucky, please. I say, you people are always trying to involve you. Also, but <laughs> it's my own expenses moving around. And there's no way we could. We can mm. start dragging an adult and say, yeah. let's do this and do that. Yeah. You know, so everybody was just consigned. You yeah. see, people love you. Even it's regardless true. of that, people still love you. Do you it's understand true. me? True. Yeah, but the best thing is to abstain from anything that will bring you low in life. Yeah. Do you understand me? Yeah. You deserve to be at a certain stage in life. So this is where people want to see. And one thing about Nigeria is that, oh, more this country has love. Bro. This is the only country you can go to somebody's shop and take something on credit. Mm. Go and try it anywhere else. It's not possible. possible. This is the country that it's so easy for you to give people money. In other countries, you're on your own. Nobody cares about you. So Nigeria is a country, regardless of our challenges, regardless of the level we are compared to other countries, we still have so much love. We are the like the happiest people on earth. Yeah. You understand me? So I Sky B, a lot of people love you. And I want you to make something beautiful out of this love and support people are yeah. showing you. Do you yeah. understand me? Yeah. So there was this guy who reached out that he wants to take you on a tour to Europe and America. Yeah. Have you been in communication with those people? Yeah, I've not uh, I've been in touch with them. They said it's going to be by November. By November. Yes. So our agreement was that I should get my passport ready. 
you have a passport already. It's, it's already expired. I'm trying to renew it. Renew it. Yes. Okay. And once it's, it's renewed, I'll get back to them. Then they will not start the process. I was about doing it before the protest. That was the way things are going, are you very sure that store is still going to hold? Yeah, I'm sure the store is going to hold because um, the people that called me, they are, they are very serious about it. They, they keep on calling me, keep on calling me, different people. Okay. It's an organization, oh, kind of organization. Okay, now let's talk about your management. Yeah. How many, because I'm confused here, who exactly is your manager? <laughs> so uh, you, know, you talked about how there's some of the guy who is, ma- who is taking charge of your accounts now is saying that your management mm. sold your accounts to him. Why would anybody even do that? What would give them the audacity to do something like that? Yeah, I, I, that's what I'm saying that because my management I have respect for them and I know the kind of people they are. So I'm suspecting one thing that he hacked that account. He hacked it. Yes, that's what I'm suspecting. An account that I told them to, yes. you, to, in, to put a two-factor mm. authentication that's just to make sure that... To, so I'm not so sure hackers did that. Then the management I have, like I had only one manager since then. Too much was, uh, but too much was like, you know, a kind of managing me, managing me a little while. No, but I'm talking about after the interview. After the interview, the only management I had was uh, Auntie Dora and uh, a friend. That's all. Don't have are you still person. in good relationship with them now? Yeah, we are still good, good relationship. I call them. book shows for you? Yeah, she are does. Very sure? Yeah, she called me some time ago. I told me somebody would call me for a program and the person called and I went for that successful. Mm, that's yeah. good. I just want to believe that whatever you are saying right now is the truth. Yes, that's true. Okay, interesting. So what this means is that people can still book you for shows, right? Yes, yes. Mm, that's good. I saw a music of you. It Victory. was a Christian music. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody should judge you. Uh, Everybody like they do. Uh, <laughs> <Victory. possibly. laughs> Yeah, it, I, I, I had to thank God for what happened first. That's why I did that song. Every day is victory. Every day is victory. Hallelujah. Victory, 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 victory. Testimony. Testimony. Every day is miracle. Every day. That, that song, Victory, oh, is that, perfect. That, that, <laughs> I have to thank God. Because so it's every day so blessing. What, do you have future plans to make for music? Yeah, right now I have a I have a job with Odumo. Do you know I've, I did one with Magneto? The one I did with Magneto, that one is ready. The one I want to do Wait, with Odumo. Are Odumodu. you telling me that you and Odumo Black has a song that is yeah. that is cooking up right it, now? It's cooking up already. Let me say before December, it's going to be out. Well, I'll thank God. God all the glory. Yeah, uh, it's a beautiful thing. Remember how the journey started, and today mm. it's beautiful to see that this platform we are using it to give other people life you know yeah. so I'm, I'm really grateful for that so yes, i really sir. hope that all you've said is true because yeah. i'm very very certain that there are still a lot of people who want to book you for shows you yes know? it's true so you know you get to go out there you perform you know and do all sort of things you know collaborate with other people as well yeah. so at the moment now i don't even have a smartphone anymore i don't have smartphone you don't have access to social media anymore no 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 okay so if we're able to retrieve skype's account back we'll tag into this video Yes. But if that guy is proving stubborn, we'll pull up with him. The energy he gives to us, we'll give it to him. Like yes. Then. yes, that's then true. Then we'll also create a new one for you again. Yeah. Okay? And um, please try to do better. People love you. So when somebody loves you, it's not good that you hurt them. You yeah, understand? and let them down. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, guys. Yeah. Hi, guys. Though. I hope you're not bored. <laughs> I know this is different from my typical video. This is just like a seat talk where we get to just sit and have a conversation. You know, I saw the videos online and I was really worried what was happening to this young man. You know, this is a man that everybody loves. And then you see him in a situation like this. Anybody would want to be curious. So in order to satisfy my curiosity, I had to invite him over so we could have this conversation again. And um, as you can see, Skype is healthy. He's okay. He seems optimistic. I'm not going to say anything more than this, but if you want to engage him, you definitely see a page tagged to this video. Hopefully, you can engage him. Let the man be able to provide for his family. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right. Do you have anything to say? I don't know if there's something you'd like <laughs> to say because I'm, 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 I'm out. Uh, I want to thank everybody, my fans out there. First of all, I have to thank you, Baba. You're too much. <laughs> <laughs> You're too much. You are the kingmaker. I think the whole Nigeria, everybody is grateful. Everybody now, nobody knows any other blogger now. It's lucky to everybody know. <laughs> so I thank you. I thank my fans, my well wishers. Uh, 
The people that call me for show, despite the information they get about me, they still call me for show. I thank them, I thank my mom, my dad, my family, my wife and the kids that always uh, run around and make me happy. I thank everybody. I appreciate Nigeria, I appreciate the whole world. I'm grateful to God and I know every day will be victorious Amen. as long as I live. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what up, people? It's yeah. your boy Lucky Udu. Thank you for watching to this very extent. Um, and, and before I, before I forget, I I thank MC Omoros. Yeah. Yeah, thank the Simon. one who paid for your flight. I yeah, brought right. me from Portugal. Big come. shout out yeah. to MC Omoros. Yeah. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Yes, sir. I really appreciate the support you're offering to this young man. Um, all right, guys. I think we have to say bye to yes, our at this job. Thank you all for watching this very episode. Look forward to the next one. And bye. bye. I love you.